Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our daily Oracle and Tarot card reading. And today's reading is for Wednesday, June the 10th. And we're using the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck by Colette Baron Reed. And let's get started with the reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking that all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. Okay, and we have card number eight, the Dream Walker. Okay, and we have card number 31, the Prison Wave. Okay, and card number 41. The Cosmos, and this has got to be one of my favorite out of this whole deck, the Cosmos. So on this Wednesday, the Dreamwalker, it's a beautiful woman standing perched atop a rock, a mountain, a cliff, and she's playing a flute. And dreams, the collective good, illusions. And when I look at this card, it looks like it's uh, twilight. Okay, very mysterious, ominous sky in the back. And she is playing her flute for all that surround her. Uh, looks like there's a duck down here. It looks like it's some type of a, a dragon behind her. I didn't even notice that. Right here, there's a dragon down at the bottom. Okay, and when I think of the collective good, yes, for the highest good of all, for the collective good, not just for yourself, what's good for you, what you want, it's about you, you need this, you need that. No, the collective good. How are your actions going to affect other people? Do you take other people into consideration? Dreams, illusions, dreams and illusions, yes. Um, what I get from spirit here is a lot of us, a lot of us, have dreams within ourselves of what we want our life to be okay and some of us act on them some of us go after them and some of us don't uh, when I think of the collective good and dreams is it something that you would want to do a dream of yours to to possibly help other people to do something that's gonna make a difference in this world something that's gonna make you know makes sense, something that's meant for you to do right now at this point on your path, think, dig deep, what are the dreams, okay, that you have? And if you haven't acted on them, why? What's holding you back? This woman here is playing her flute. She doesn't have a live audience there. She doesn't even know if anyone will hear her. But she's taking on this activity as though she does. And sometimes that's how we have to feel. Sometimes we have to realize that, you know, we may not be able to figure out how a dream is going to come, come true, but you know if it's going to benefit the highest good of all and the collective, somehow the universe will find a way to make it happen. So she's not playing for anyone in particular. She's just expressing herself. She's expressing herself through her music. She is very peaceful, very quiet. Let's see how the other cards line up with this. Okay, and then we have the Prison Wave. Very interesting card. And the Prison Wave says self-sabotage, poverty, consciousness. Okay, this is a beautiful card, even though it's a sad card. I really like the way the woman is sitting there thinking, thinking. She's in her head. She's looking down at the ground. Okay, and when I look at this self-sabotage, it's like, what are the thoughts that you tell yourself in your head every day? When you come upon an obstacle, do you tell yourself all the reasons why it's not going to work out and all the reasons why you can't do something? Or do you at least give it a grain of salt and, and give it at least a, a chance? A lot of us out there are poverty consciousness as well because when you feel that you lack things in life that's exactly what will happen I'm not saying to have grandiose ideas that you're gonna get everything that you want just the way you want and in the perfect timing and all in divine order no 
But don't pity yourself. This woman here is pitying herself. She has this lack of consciousness, and that is what's causing her self-sabotage. A lot of us sabotage ourselves with the thoughts that we think. And then our last card, the Cosmos. Beautiful, beautiful card. And I really, I believe this is the, the most beautiful card in the entire deck. This card speaks to me so much um, because there's the moon. And it has a man's face. It looks like a masculine face, like the man in the moon. And there's, he, it looks like he's blowing down all of these stars down upon the city down below. And it's, and it's a beautiful, beautiful city. I, I wish you could really see the beauty of this card. And it's nighttime. There's stars circling up in the heavens, and he's, you know, sending down more stars, and it's such a tranquil, quiet, peaceful evening, and it's saying creativity and vastness. Yes, when you think about it, how large the universe is, how big this world is, how many people that just by doing this, what we're doing right now, you know, me making these YouTube videos, how many people I'm reaching all over the world that I would have never thought ever possible. Uh, it is. It's, it's such a vast world out there. And, and this right here is telling me, you know, creativity. It, it kind of, you know, it really does line up with the first card, you know, the, the, your dreams for the collective good, for the highest good of all. What is it? What is it in you? that you can offer, that you could creatively express. And it might not be something that you're ready to expose to the world. It may be something that you want to think about, but consider the vastness of this big world that we live in and the changes that we could make in people's lives by just living our truth. If anybody told me I would be doing this, um, Years ago, I, I, I would have never believed it. And it's because of everybody out there that I do these readings. And the vastness of people out in the world that watch me, my subscribers, my viewers, you'll never know how much it means that we're all here together. If I could shed some light, give some advice, or just tell you what kind of energies to ex expect. It's amazing. It's really amazing. And um, don't sell yourself short because you just never know where your life's path is going to lead you. Take a chance. Believe in yourself. Do what you need to do for the collective good of all, no matter how small it is. You might not be able to be on camera talking to people. It may be just some simple act of kindness every day. Just do a little something. Regardless of if anybody notices or not, you can hold a door open for someone. Let someone, let someone out in the line of traffic. Just offer a shoulder for someone to, you know, cry on if they're going through a hard time. Um, all together. Beautiful. I'm sorry for getting emotional, but I'll tell you, my life has been so different than what I ever expected it to be. And it all opened up because I took a chance on what I felt Spirit wanted me to do. And that's why I'm here. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I'll be back.